Hey cuties, it's your favorite cutie Mel back again on my soap channel to give you guys yet another video. And today we're talking about um, why I chose to change my website hoster for my lingerie shop from Squarespace to Shopify. If you were here and you have never seen me before, I just want to say hello. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you stay until the end. Go ahead and give me a huge thumbs up and like, comment, and subscribe. Um, to all my reoccurring cuties, hey, thank you guys so much for being here today. So I'm just going to hop right into it. Um, I chose to change my uh, lingerie shop for a couple of reasons um, to, uh, to Shopify. One, because um, if you guys did not know, I was checking back a few months ago to see if I can offer Afterpay and like Klarna on my website to encourage people to buy more because they can buy now and pay later. But Squarespace is not partnered with any of these um, pay now, uh, I mean, buy now, pay later sites, which is honestly a big reason to switch over. I stayed a couple more months, as you can tell, three or four months since I sent him the inquiry about like if they would be adding any of those services. And they told me that they're in the works. But apparently from past research that I've done, they've apparently been saying that they're in the works in negotiations for a while now. So it may be still a while before Squarespace changes their platform so that they can also have Afterpay or some sort of buy now, pay later um, incentives for your customers. I feel like if you do retail, especially, this is something to really consider prior to making a website. Um, Shopify is not the only one who offers Clarina or Afterpay. So just make sure that whoever that you go with, if you feel like um, it's going to be beneficial for your customers and for your price point of your items and stuff like that, go ahead and make sure that um, whoever you set up with has those options and those partnerships available prior. Um, next, um, I changed over because I feel like Shopify is just more um integrated when i had my business on squarespace i had to also pay for an external um shipping service called shipstation you guys might have seen it um i also did a video on shipstation a while back um which was fine but i feel like for what you're paying for technically for my site for squarespace i was paying around 30 dollars for the site with the e-commerce and then also paying an additional pretty much $30 for ShipStation. So that's $60 a month just to host my website. With Shopify, everything is integrated. So it's like I'm paying right now, I think they're, it's $29 a month or something like that. It's either like 26 and 29 for the starter package of um, their website hosting and that comes with the integrated shipping station um inside of uh, shopify so i don't have to pay anything additional to have um my shipping there so i just feel like that in itself is also another good reason to consider um either moving to shopify or another site that is more integrated for retail um squarespace is cool but you know you honestly can't be getting your integration inside of the website itself um, on the back end. That is just, it saves so much time. And also, Shopify also has partnerships with stamps.com and stuff like that. So, between two days ago when I was working on my ship station and uh, these two days that I've been working on my Shopify, I have noticed that the prices for like regular shipping and stuff are the same and another thing that i like about um shopify is like say typically the post office the usps is the cheapest way to ship things especially if it's going to be just um first class mail however if you're doing things that are over a pound and things that are getting a little bit heavier i like that shopify will always suggest you the cheapest option so it will come up first i don't have to like put in all of the different um carriers to see if i'm getting the best price when i'm fulfilling my orders it will automatically show you the best price for shipping and um i just feel like it's it's just so much easier you guys you can just have all of your weights and stuff already incorporated and it just makes the process so much faster so much easier and you also have the option to like just have everything all the money and stuff be taken out of your um 
your profits from your site so if you're someone who doesn't want to pay a monthly bill um for your site and things like that you can opt in to just have your monthly subscription taken from your profit so it's a no hassle option so i thought that that was cool um i mentioned already that I, shopify has different apps which i'm super excited to um try out for retail there's things that you can um hire like there was an app that I was looking at where it is an auto upseller. So basically it's like you can add these different trinkets to your site that I couldn't necessarily add on my Squarespace. I'm not sure if that was an option or whether you know um, you had to get some real coding in to get these other things into your site, which is always possible if you guys know how to do that or if you know someone who can code for you. I'm sh pretty sure you can still do these same things on your other website, but I feel like Shopify with the apps makes it so much easier to just integrate um, whatever it is that you wanna integrate. If you want someone to respond to your customers and have like a little auto bot, you can add that to your site. And I feel like ultimately those things honestly really can help you upsell on your site. And um, you, have, you do have to pay for certain apps, not all of them. Some of them are free, some of them are not but um just having things like that and being able to try out different modes of everything i feel like it's cool also i really really like um the shopify templates for the email campaigns if it felt so much easier to just do that and have it already like laid out there's different like they already had like the black friday um email campaigns that you can do i started a 50 percent off sale by the way if you see this the same day um today i'm also leaving on my site the 50 percent off sale for all orders over 25 dollars. so if you happen to be watching this the same day go ahead and check that um smoke sugar lingerie.com um link down below in the pinned comment section and shop up something cute you guys a lot of people are taking a good advantage of this 50 percent sale and it's been so nice to just get out a lot of things that i feel like were just like one more or two more left on the site so that's super dope anyways um i really like shopify and i've actually considered shopify before because before i started my lingerie shop i was thinking about doing drop shipping and initially i felt like i didn't really like the templates i, I thought that it was kind of ugly it wasn't as user friendly when i was trying to set everything up so honestly yeah i feel like if you're trying to make the distinction between the two and decide which way you're going to go with i would say give shopify a chance first it was also super easy to change my website and just import my shop into the shopify system all you have to do if you have a squarespace store is like you can go to your customers you can export that information and there's a download link on um shopify same thing for your orders it was super easy to make the transition from with my orders nothing got left out nothing was left behind there was no lag in terms of you know orders even though people were still ordering on the old site before i cut that site everything was a a1 you guys a1 it was super easy to switch over so if i had to choose again and i had to start all over again i feel like i honestly Though I really love the aesthetics of Squarespace and I do feel like it's still a very great um, website hoster. I host my other site on um, my passion food site on Squarespace still. So it's not like um, I hate it, but for retail, especially like my other site is not like retail based. So I'm not shipping anything. So for that, I definitely recommend squarespace and i'm going to continue to use squarespace for that site so um but if you are selling any type of like merchandise at all i 1000 percent think that you should try out shopify so i'm not gonna hold you guys to her too long um i'm gonna actually get out of here i have a couple other things to do today and I'm going to try to shoot another video either today or tomorrow so that you guys can have at least one post for me while I'm in Tulum next week. Um, as always, you guys, thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't already, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Turn that thumbs up blue. Leave me some comments down below about 
your experiences if you don't use Squarespace or Shopify. Let, let us know what's so great about what you use and another great option for any of the people watching to kind of weigh in on if they are looking to decide on a website um, hosting. So yeah, you guys, thank you guys so, so, so much. Make sure to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be here, become a reoccurring cutie, and I will see you guys next time. Stay posh and stay cute. Bye.